Today we're gonna to do something a little different. It's actually Wednesday, and I usually film my Friday videos on Thursday. That way we have time to edit and I can wait until all of my packages come in, but I've already had a few packages come in. I've got some coming today. Let's just do my Friday haul video in two different parts. And I just have so much to say, like every day I want to talk to you. Okay, let's just talk about my makeup real quick and my hair. My hair, I put too much, I can already tell like right now, I put too much of that Cool Girl texture spray in my hair, but I just used a new shampoo and conditioner last night. I will put a picture in here. Kerastase, it's the orange and white one that I used to use years ago. And then the spray. The spray, I didn't realize it was gonna be kind of like the Kenra spray or the fast, all the fast blowout sprays. So when I did my hair, it made it like silky and straight and like this. So that is why it's back and it's like this because of that spray. So if you like that, you want a silky straighter blowout, then that little set, I'm excited about it. I had also purchased the Kerastase Discipline set that's in like the peachy orange kit. And I just gave that to Morgan, my hairdresser, because I used it twice. And after my shampoo, drugstore, escapade, I can tell if I like a shampoo and conditioner right off the bat. And so I gave that one two times and it wasn't impressive. I typically would wear false lashes just because I love them. They're easy. I already have them cut. My glue sticks so fast. I mean, I have no excuse not to, but today I was doing my mascara and I'm telling you that Lumify eyelash and eyebrow enhancer has made my eyelashes grow. Now I've always used Revitalash and it does too, but I don't know if you can tell, I feel like they're just extra growing. And that is very easy to put on. It's got like a sponge tip applicator and it may be a little less expensive. I know it's available at Walmart and probably on Amazon, they sent it to me. And when I got it, you know, I was appreciative, but I didn't think too much of it. I didn't think it would be as good as Revitalash. But when I got through with my Revitalash, I have another one back up, but I thought, let me try this and just see. So today I'm going without eyelashes. So I feel very naked. Let's just go with it. I'm gonna be vulnerable for you today. Okay, so let's start with some things that I have gotten this week. First of all, let's start with this fabulous gift that I got from Dean Davidson. It is a just spectacular carrying case for traveling. You could probably put your jewelry, if I had to guess in here, makeup or makeup brushes, just a really nice makeup case. Oh, and look, it folds flat. Hey, Chanel, she's up here with us. And this was, I thought, just a nice touch. Of course, all of us that work with Dean got one of these, but it's kind of like saying someone's name. It never gets old. So thank you, Dean and the team for this gift. And then I had placed a Nordstrom order, who knows when, and I got this lipstick. They had the MAC lipsticks on sale and I got this one, which is Modesty. And it's just a good one. It's one that I think a lot of you that want like pinky brown natural nude, would like this. My lip combo now is Lancome Ideal with L'Oreal Peach Shine, which is discontinued, but you can still get on Amazon. One of my favorites. So let me go put this on. I'm gonna just blot this off and put this on so you can see it. So here it is. I blotted it off with toilet paper <laughs> and then I reapplied my Lancome Ideal and put it on. Isn't it pretty? Oh my God, it's such a good color. It's not that I don't remember it being a good color, but you just go through phases of what you like. And I've kind of been into this nude, but not too nude lately. They've been out of stock in this particular shade forever. And I swatched every shade because my typical shade in the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer, it's my favorite, was the N6. So I talked to several people about the whole makeup shade controversy, you know, having to go a little bit lighter for the winter. And I was talking to a friend and she said, well, I usually just go down in my concealer. So that is what I was thinking. And I got the N3 and it is pretty much perfection. It is so smooth 
so beautiful. Let me just show you. I don't know how much you can really see here. Extremely, extremely neutral. You see how that is? See how it's not too yellow, not too pink. It doesn't like have a white cast to it. Creamy, it is just so good, you guys. And I, I feel like I have every concealer there is. And I've got a few more new ones here. Loving that. This is the True Match Radiant Serum Concealer. 1.5 Hyaluronic Acid and Caffeine. The shade I got is N3. Ooh, so it has like a very interesting doe foot. I just got this yesterday. Okay, this is going to be more of your brightening. Ever so slightly, it has that peach tone in it, which is a good thing. And then the last concealer I got is the Estee Lauder Futurist Soft Touch. And I'm not gonna swatch it because I can look at it and tell it's too light. For some reason, I chose one N and it must have described itself, but I can Look at that and tell. It's nowhere near anything I'm ever gonna be able to wear. And I'd like to return it without testing it or using it. I, always, I try not to be wasteful. Okay, let's go into something my friend Rosie told me about. She woke up, her husband had gone out of town and she woke up, couldn't go back to sleep. She was watching my videos and she was noticing my just dilemma with foundation. And she said that this was something she loved and she thought it might help me. I ordered it immediately. It is the Dior Forever Velvet Veil 24 Hour Blurring Matte Primer. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, this could be it because there are so many foundations like the one I'm wearing today that are not matte, but they're not extremely oily. I love them and I love the tone. So I'm wearing this for the first time today because I just got it. And I have to say, it's beautiful. It's almost like you're putting on a thinner foundation and it does give your skin like a blurring effect. You know how like, if you're oily skin, you know what I'm talking about. You almost need something that you can tell there is some type of powder in there that's been ground down really fine and put in the formula. And that is how this is. So thank you, Rosie. We've been friends for a long time. She gets me, you know what I mean? Like she knows what I'm talking about. So I love that. And I think so many of you would love this. This is the foundation that I'm wearing today. It is the Dior Forever Radiant Foundation in 2.5 Neutral. And I also have the Matte Forever, but it's in the three and it's too dark. It's got too much of that like summer tone to it. So I have ordered this in the matte. And if I had to guess, I'm gonna like them both mixed because it's probably gonna be perfect. But this is what I have on. I wore it yesterday and I think I wore it in the second half of my Abercrombie video. If you didn't see that, I'll put it up here because I'm gonna touch on a few of those things because that was a good one. This is, what is this? Okay, the body oil Chanel number no. five. I watch Tamara Kalinic. I feel like I have known her for years years. I have been watching her since she was in school and now she's, you know, grown up and blossomed and I just, I love following her and she puts this in her bath water. So I ordered it to try and I will let you know. Our bathroom doesn't have a tub. We opted for a big stand-up shower because I'm really not a big bath girl. I'm a business bath kind of girl, but I do like it and I want to try it. We have four bathrooms. So I have another bathroom over here that no one ever uses. I can use that tub. And so I was thinking, this might be a great gift too because it's something that we wouldn't ordinarily buy for ourselves but it's so luxe and fancy but not quite as expensive so I was going to try this for us and I'll let you know. This was something on a whim. <laughs> when I picked up the package, I was like, what did I get? But it is the Vacation Home Resort Luxury Scented Candle Set. So if you are familiar with the Vacation Beach, what is it called? Is it called Beach House or it's a beach scent? I love it. I've bought it probably three times, but it is just like the most temporary scent I think I've ever tried. It doesn't last on me at all, but I love it. I do love the scent. Let's just look at the packaging because that might've been what got me. Very, very 60s retro looking. I mean, I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, I can already smell this. It's high ceiling resort lobby, scented candle 
fresh cut flowers, trifold travel pamphlets, and air conditioned ocean breeze. Is that not amazing? It reminds me of my slim errands, books and prints. It's just definitely a cool girl gift to give a friend of yours. Partial Ocean View Sweet Scented Candle. Crisp white linen, freshly cleaned floors, and partial ocean breeze. Conjure instantaneous luxury with iconic vacation, partial ocean view candle. Just one spark transforms any master bedroom into a handsomely maintained 40th floor double queen with ensuite bathroom. Ignite and relive that just checked in feeling with the gentle sense of partially obstructed island breezes, crisp cool linen sheets, and the deluxe botanical fresh and newly polished parquet floors, a portable resort vacation for indoor enthusiasts. Oh my gosh, I love this. Pool boy, tall, handsome, and asked for him by name. The world famous vacation brand Pool Boy Scented is a strictly platonic olfactory affair of tropical romance, unchecked fantasy, and over attentive summer employment. Coconut sunscreen, fresh cleaned swimming pool, resort towel, and desire. Oh my gosh, you guys. Did anybody use banana boat tanning oil in the 90s or 80s? That smells so good. Is there banana? Coconut and banana? I don't know what's in it, but all of these are really cool. Hopefully by the time you see this, I will have posted my Sephora cool girl for cool weather scents. And you know, I've gotten back into the fragrance vibe. So that is what I was thinking. And this is the Chanel Paris Plus. I've been so impressed with that Chanel fragrance that I told you about last week. And I cannot tell a lie. How pretty is that gonna look on your bathroom vanity? How beautiful of a gift is this? I mean, it's just, it's all the things, especially mother-in-law, sister-in-law, just someone that you want to get, you know, they don't really need anything, but you want to get them something special and beautiful. And I feel the same way with Chanel nail polishes. If you got someone Chanel Ballerina, they would love it. And it's such a great gift. Like, I mean, things I used to do all the time, going to a friend group party and you're all bringing one gift to exchange. Chanel nail polish, something like this, always a winner. This little package here was inspired by my friend Kelly with Mommy's Makeup and Moscato. She ordered the La Mer Reparative Body Lotion. You guys know I use Obagi skincare. It's not beautiful, doesn't smell that great. It just works the best for me. But I do like to dabble in like body, neck creams, eye creams, all of that stuff. So I got this and I'll be honest with you, I've only used it one time and I just wanted to try it. She painted a picture for me. She said she was gonna take a bath. Can you remember what she was gonna put in the bath? And then she was gonna put this on and then she was gonna spray herself. She's the one that got me calling that Chanel spray, Chanel water. And she just painted that picture and I was in. It's like this. Definitely smells like a luxurious skincare. So this is one of those things I might use it and think, eh, I mean, it was okay, but I'm ready to try something else. Or it could be one of those things I get hooked on. We shall see. Something else I ordered. I have always loved the La Mer lip conditioner like in the pot. It's so good. I still recommend it. Half of me wishes I would have gotten that instead of this, but I wanted to try this. It's the La Mer. It's also a lip conditioner. This is the lip volumizer. So it might be apples and oranges, but I've only used it one time. So I really can't say anything. I was just thinking it might be something I like using at night. It looks like it's just going to be like clear. That would be another bougie gift to give someone that they would love. I swear you guys, I told you I have so much to tell you. This is something I wanted to report back on too. I am doing a collaboration with Ulta Beauty next week. I believe it's the 17th through the something something and they have been having their happy holiday sale. This is not sponsored. I'm just literally telling you this. Next week, Clinique is going to be discounted. I can't remember. I'll put the, the details down there, but some good deals like uh, half off of the Too Faced Born This Way palette. So when I was doing that, I grabbed these wipes 
because I can always use wipes. So one night I did an experiment. I took off one side of my makeup with this wipe and I took off the other side of my makeup with my Costco wipe. This did work better. Now, I'm not saying I will quit using my Costco wipes because I only do that when I'm not taking a shower that night and I'm just washing off my makeup. Nine times out of 10, I'm using my Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm and I'm just, you know, making a mess, getting in the shower and using my cleanser. I did want to tell you, these are good. They are really good. Not heavily scented or anything. I have the Harry Josh and I love them but I was thinking these are cuter and I think they might be a little bit bigger. This is what I use. Okay, after I do my blowout, like if I don't want that, I would smush it down and I would put this in there. And even though my hair is dry, I would still do this while I'm watching TV with John. And then I don't put my hair up to sleep until I'm literally going to sleep. And these feel really nice. Okay, they're rubbery and they're from a brand I've really never heard of, Mermaid Hair. So I think these are worth it. I see like Victoria Beckham a lot of times. You can even, like say you wanted your hair to do like this, clip it like that and you'll be amazed what you can do with these things. So I will keep using them and then report back. I don't know if them being rubbery instead of plastic will make any difference. We shall see. Speaking of Victoria Beckham, I just can't get it off my mind. I had to. It says, thank you for supporting Victoria Beckham Beauty. I hope you love the products as much as I have loved creating them. Kisses, VB, and the team. Remember, I got the little fragrance set. Well, if you remember my story before that, I had ordered a lot of Victoria Beckham makeup and they had sprayed the paper, some scent. And, you know, I knew she was coming out with fragrance. I was like a cat. I could have just rolled around in it. I took the paper. It was before I went to the, re the style conference, LTK conference. I put the paper in my luggage, just hoping my clothes would smell like that. And then I emailed them and they wrote me back and told me it was this one. Well, so many influencers and everything were talking about the turquoise one. I think it's Portofino. And then I just couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I ordered the combo pack and without a doubt, it's this one. It's the original one that I wanted, which is the San whatever, whatever. And they're not cheap. Matter of fact, I had not ordered it because I thought, you know, I've got so many fragrances, but uh, Sarah Jane, chic on the cheap. She and I were talking about fragrances and I was just telling her about this one and how it made me feel that day. And I have been using the small one and just spraying it in my bathroom, even if I don't want to wear it. Oh, it just makes me feel so good. So here it is in all its glory. I have to say, I love the packaging. I love the color. It's like a combo between a bougie skincare or cosmetic and a flask. So a burst of energy, a new beginning, the healing power of perfume. Victoria Beckham captures the mending and motivating spirit of mindfulness in the memory of San Yidro, I don't know, an intense rush of passion fruit and pink peony, vitalizing ocean air infused with rich rose absolute saffron flower, an agarwood, black amber, and vanilla incensing atmosphere. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's give it a spray. My first spray with you. I'm just gonna do one. I've learned with her fragrances. Oh my goodness. It is so good. If you like Chanel fragrances, you're gonna love this. If you are someone who likes Ariana Grande, cloud or something like that, you're not gonna like this. This is much more of a intense, Fragrance, it's for fragrance lovers. It's for someone that wants a vibey, sexy, I'm just gonna go on and say mature type scent. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, I love it. No regrets. It makes me feel like this. <laughs> you guys, my rosemary Amazon candle. Nothing compares, nothing, nothing. Maybe the closest is Colleen's new candle in Nomad. I believe it, it's the scent of her cleansing balm, but I'm telling you, 
I can be so stressed out, so on wit's end. It's the end of the day. I've got so much stuff left to do. It's like aromatherapy. I can smell this candle even if it's not lit and feel better. I don't know what it is about it. This is the one where I walked in a restaurant. I went to the bathroom. This was burning and I've never looked back. It is just amazing. It's not that inexpensive, but it's so worth it. Another Tamara Kalenic purchase. I've been watching her Vlogmas. She has a really good Vlogmas, but she had one of these from Diptyque hanging in her bathroom and she was talking about how good they smell. And I thought, that's cool. I like that. I know this is a popular one. It's a scented oval. Right off the bat, it's not my type of scent. It smells fruity. But I think when I looked at all three of them, this was the one that described me the most. But I'm going to let you know, does it smell up the room? Does it last a long time? Because I swear I could get the most expensive, bougie bottle with the sticks coming out. They never do anything for my bathroom. So I am gonna see how that goes. My friend Sherry that works at Ulta, she actually works for a couple of the skincare companies. I'm always in there asking her what's the greatest and all this stuff. And I walked in last week and she told me about these. Two nail polishes from Essie. I think it's probably obvious I have this one on. It's the second time I've worn it. Good as gold. So pretty. I should have done one on one hand, one on the other. I didn't think about it or I would have. I think I had this on in my Abercrombie video. This is imported bubbly. Both really, really pretty but nude polishes that are a little bit holiday. And I had on that little inexpensive, cheap and cheerful pink faux fur from Walmart. I have loved that thing. The other day I had on, I'll put my outfit in here. I had on my new Abercrombie flared leggings. I think my Uggs, the white tank top and that little cheap and cheerful jacket and my new, I have it out here to talk to you about it. My new hat. I felt just as good as I would have if you'd have put me in Chanel from head to toe. I don't know. It's just like, it's crazy how things make you feel. And maybe I'm like extremely that way. But the first time I used this, I had that little jacket on. The way this looked coming out of that jacket, I just liked how it looked every time. Whereas when I had my blue polish on that I do like, and I think it looked good, it didn't make me feel that way. You know what I mean? These are just really, really pretty. Okay, so I have pretty much already mentioned this. If you've been here with me, you know I have never been a brown girl. Like, I've always loved black. I have just never been drawn to browns. But I don't know what's going on. I think part of it is I love the brown and black on Fendi, and I've just been so drawn to it. This is just so pretty. So pretty, a comfortable hat. Caps are funny. They have to have a per, like a good slope and a good bill and it's adjustable. It's just a good hat. So I wanted to just tell you again how much I loved it. We're getting to my outfit. So let's turn that way and talk about it. This is an Everlane t-shirt and then these pants are from Everlane. They are high-waisted. They're pleaty, but not too pleaty. They are so nice. If you were to tell me these were $500 pants, I would believe you. And I love this pinstripe. Very different for me. Let's look at them with just my favorite shoes in the world, which are my Ugg Cosettas. You guys, I'm sure you're gathering that the style now is for pants to be much longer and, you know, almost pulling on the floor. So you can get by with this, but I do think it's a little much for me. So I was thinking about what boots. And this is actually a brand I learned about when I was watching those capsule wardrobe. It's uh, Dear Francis. And these boots are something that they have every year and they actually have them in a tall version that I'm very tempted to get because they are gorgeous. Let's put these on. Okay, so this is perfect. So this is what I like is when they kind of just hit the floor and they break just a little bit like that. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I always love their t-shirts, but I will link this one in particular because I want to get it in the other colors too. It's cropped, so there was barely anything to tuck in. 
Love the sleeves, love the fit. See how it fits me good like through here. I just have on like a skims bra. I'll link it below, very minimal. And I love just the gray pulling out that stripe a little bit. Look at this sweater, absolutely gorgeous. So soft, I mean, wow. Like this, what is this made of? Everlane, dry clean only, 51 alpaca, 28 wool, 18 recycled nylon. I mean, just a dream combination. And I just think it's beautiful. One thing I would like to do that I'd never do is this. Isn't that just like a really cool look? Oh, love it. This has like not one bit of wooly scratchiness feeling. Definitely the blend is perfection because it's giving you that alpaca and you know that recycled polyester is very, very soft. It is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then I got, oh, I can already tell you, I am so into sweaters lately. I just want to be cozy and soft like all the time. Okay, this is, of course, their dark gray cardigan. It looks like it's a little oversized, comes with an extra button. This is 60 alpaca, 30 nylon, 21% of that is recycled, and 10% merino wool. These are the things that you're just, I should go ahead and take the tag off. This isn't going anywhere. Yes, perfect. Oh, but I do like love these in the afternoons when I'm doing my editing and work upstairs just to have on a cozy sweater. I love it. And then this is one that I actually wore yesterday and you know i'm i'm still kind of testing out and comparing the expensive sweaters like the jenny kane the kate all of that stuff and so i grabbed this one which is very similar but this one is just okay it's expensive of course it's 100 percent wool that's why Okay, I was thinking this isn't that soft. It's not supposed to be. I did wear it all day and it's definitely not itchy, but okay, I have a whole different feeling about this now. It's probably just, you know, what it's supposed to be. Okay, and then I got these little pants from Nordstrom and my goal is to wear these with some of the big sweaters or you, even like if you wanted to put it on with a sweatshirt that you love and still have something that looks nice but is still really, really comfortable. They weren't expensive. The Treasure and Bond small and I'll have to get them steamed by my lovely daughter. See, I'm thinking like these with this and your loafers or your sneakers or something like that. That way you look nice and put together and chic, but you're just super, super comfortable. That's what I'm thinking of. And then this is something I ordered when I did my white t-shirt video that I will put up here. And I know that it's not like white t-shirt time, but I did style them for winter. So each t-shirt I styled as I would wear it now. I could not pass this up. It's, I think a newer t-shirt that she's got. Anina Bing with Kate Moss. And it's not the same fit as the Bardot, but we're gonna see. I'm not gonna cut it or anything. I'm gonna wear it as is and see how I like it. I just got it yesterday and I was just telling John this this morning. I really want this bag. It's the Kate Moss Anina Bing bag, but it's really big. It's not something I would probably use like, you know, on the daily. And for some reason, I want this on sale. I feel like this should be something that you can get on like a Christmas or a Black Friday sale, but she has not put this on sale. So I'm watching it. One more thing, this little coat I got for Will. He loves it. It looks so good on him. I'll try it on. It is just perfection. It is like the perfect coat. Like when we run out to go eat lunch, he has been wearing it. It's padded just enough, really good looking. And I think an excellent gift too. This is a men's medium and he's pretty much a men's small or medium. Love that. And I wanted to report back to you. Hey, welcome back. Today's Thursday and we're gonna wrap it up today. I have so much to say, so little time, but I do have some things to report back on from yesterday, which I love that. Okay, the La Mer body lotion. 
I was using this last night and today. And I just wanna tell you, when I get things like this that are extravagant, let me try them for a little while. You know, I get excited. I wanna tell you about it. And I, I'm scared that I encourage you to get things like this without using it. So let me try this. So far, so good. I love the way it smells. Oh gosh. And then last night I used some of the Chanel body lotion, but because I didn't know how strong it was, I just put like one pump to one pump of CeraVe, the good body lotion from CeraVe, which that's another thing that's gonna be on sale next week at Ulta. And I mix it like half and half. That's a good way to make those expensive things last. I do the same thing with like my Moroccan oil lotion. And you feel like you're getting the good stuff in that CeraVe lotion. I go to like supposed to be the best dermatologist here in town and she sells the CeraVe there and she recommends it. So I feel good about that. And I just put it on my arms because I didn't want to go overload. And I felt so fancy last night in bed, just to myself. You know what I mean? And that's worth something to me. I love that feeling. So that mm -hmm. I liked. Hello, Chanel. Let's go over what I'm wearing today because I want to tell you some different things. First of all, does anybody remember this? <laughs> My giant two inch curling iron. I don't use this as much as I used to. I think when I used this the most was when I had a little bit shorter hair, more layers and all that stuff. But I used it this morning just to kind of smooth it out. I didn't use any hairspray or anything. And just to, you know, bend my ends a little bit. I don't think this particular one is still available, but I'll find a two inch for you because if you want the look of a blowout, this is a good way to go. And like this one, I have the heat at, gosh, I have this one turned up to 380, which is kind of high for me, but I'll probably turn that down. Another thing I wanted to go back and mention is yesterday when I put on this lipstick, Modesty, when I watched the footage back, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't remember Modesty being that good. And then I thought about it. I was like, okay, Lisa, you put that on over I mean, I blotted it off, but it was over that really light peach lipstick. And that changes things. Like I always tell you, to get a really good lip, it takes more than one or two, sometimes three products. You'll get your best lip and your perfect combo when you start layering things. The initial lipstick that I had put down is discontinued. They always do that to me with my light peachy colors. So today I am wearing MAC Myth, which is just like the OG light color. I mean, it's not even that light anymore. Back in the day, this was scandalous if you just wore Myth, you were emo, but it's really not that light and it is a satin, so it blends. And then I did use my Lancome Ideal. So we should have a similar base and I'm just going to Blot my lips off and now let's apply this modesty. Yes, see it's still beautiful. Tried it on early this morning with nothing on my lips and it was just blah. It didn't thrill me. And I want you to buy things that are thrilling. And I think that that is thrilling. I do. And you know I think Lancome Ideal is a thrilling lip liner. So I feel good about that. And what I love about MAC lipsticks is they're already affordable. Like Nordstrom runs sales on these all the time. Then some more housekeeping. <laughs> if you guys only knew how it felt to like watch back your video and critique yourself. Okay, first of all, loved the look with no lashes. My hair, eh, but you know, something different. But yesterday I had used a puff instead of my damp beauty blender to set under my eyes and I didn't like the way it looked. You'll be able to tell the difference. You could see that it wasn't really set right here. Just love this daggone concealer. I can't say it enough. I have it on today. It's the N3. So in the summer, I'm N6. And in the winter, I'm N3. And don't think that I went down three levels it's just different tones in between these. So I think this is the direct level underneath N6 in this tone, which is very, very, very neutral. Then this morning, I thought I'm gonna try this True Match Hyaluronic Acid and Caffeine 
Radiant Serum Concealer. It's not gonna be for me because it's watery. It had no oomph. I mean, it looks like it's gonna have oomph right here, but under my eyes, it had none. But there, it looks so good. So hold off on that one. This. I think it was the day that I was doing my Walmart Beauty, my everyday look video. I had actually ordered some new things to use for that video and it was going to be, I'm a Walmart Plus member and I thought they would deliver it by the time I did that video, but they didn't. But later on that day, they did. And one of the things was this e.l.f. blonde brow pencil. Now I have always loved the taupe one, but this blonde one, it has just got me. If you have blondish brows like I do, which I understand we go through phases, like next month I'm liable to say, I'm using medium brown because that's the way I am. I get in little moods. I kind of like changing it up. But if you're into blonde and you like my brows, this is it. It is so good. I don't know if it's gonna swatch because brows don't swatch very well. I like too that it's not too thick, not too thin. It actually reminds me of the Edward Bess that I've shown you before. So that is the color. But see how there's no green it's not gray. You blondes know what I'm talking about. It's like sometimes taupe is too green or taupe is too harsh and you might like it when you're doing it and then the, later on you look in the mirror and you feel like you've got those glasses on and you should have a mustache. That's how I feel a lot. This never makes me feel that way. It's so good. So this is just Wow, such a good find. So excited about that. I fell prey to the Refi lip liners once again. I ordered these when they first came out. Could not remember, you guys. I was trying so much new makeup. That was when I was trying to be makeup reviewer extraordinaire. And I remember there's like a gimmicky thing with this. I think it's kind of like the brow. It might have, is there something in here? I think there's like a sealer in here or something. Yes, there is with a weird little sponge thing. It's, it's kind of a weird concept. And I remember I just wasn't feeling it. So I saw Tamara Kalinic, which I love her vlogs. I love her videos. I just, I've been following her for so long that I just, you know, like she's comforting to me. And I do always love her look, even though she looks very, very different than I do. And we're gonna to touch on that in a little bit. So she was using one of these, and so I ordered them again. I got these yesterday, and I swatched them all, and they're okay. But like the one I thought was the best, I tried to use it today, and it was just so drab. It's not that it doesn't look good on her, but let me save you. If you watch her too, and you've been thinking, I need that lip liner, they're just not that great. I would rather see you get a L'Oreal matte one, like I get. Little report back on this little smell good thing that you hang up. This is something else that's really expensive, but if you're like me, I just want a beautiful looking, a beautiful feeling, a beautiful smelling life. I don't need to travel to faraway places. I don't need to go to all the fanciest restaurants or hang around the bougiest people. It's kind of like, I just want what I'm around and what I love to be beautiful. And that's kind of like what I'm thinking when I do things like this. And it is, it's beautiful. It did make my bathroom smell so good. It is not overpowering. This one's a little bit, I would say it's a little bit fruity and a little bit sweet and fresh. Almost like you were to get a fruity soap. The bad thing is <laughs> my little snafu was I don't have anything to hang it on. All of my handles are, whereas they don't have a little thing to hang it on. My smart husband, John, will probably be able to figure something out. I just kind of sat it up because it is pretty and bougie looking. I just kind of sat it up on the side of my shower. This is something I have been meaning to report back on, this Sicily powder that I love. Okay, when I first got it and started using it, this is the one, it's beige. I was telling you guys like how much I loved it. I got it when I was in Texas. I think it was early September, so it was, to me, it was still summer. We were still going to the pool. It is unlike any powder I've ever tried, except I finally figured out what it's like. Does this look familiar? Look at the colors. I would say that one is maybe just a little bit darker. Let's swatch them. Okay, the Dior is not as creamy as, this is the Sicily, this is the Dior. Sis, is that? Oh gosh, you guys, hold on. 
Dior. Still beautiful. Sicily. Sicily is much smoother feeling. Oh my gosh, that is the difference. The Dior has a pink tone. The Sicily has more of the yellowy peach tone. And I'll bet that that is why I didn't like this as much as other people do. There are people that just love this. This is like their number one product ever. And that is why, because this is much more of a better tone for me than that. So I'm gonna try this in maybe the warm instead of neutral and see how that goes. If you have this and you love it, you don't need this. That's what I was pretty much getting to. And then one of you told me that the new Bobbi Brown powder that came out was supposed to be similar. It's the vitamin enriched pressed powder in neutral. I went to look at this and I will say they could use some more shades. It was like yellow, like yellow, like banana powder. This one and like a, almost white, I think it was not a lot. So I got this one. It's not as smooth as Sicily. In true Bobbi Brown form, it is very, very yellow. Bobbi Brown products run yellow. I didn't like it. Like I tried to like it because I don't like suggesting something this expensive. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of scary. If you don't like it, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I don't want to waste your money. So I was hoping I could find something comparable. This isn't good to me. Next thing I wanted to report back on is, you know, I bought the Zero Light in this. It's too light. It's just going to be one of those things that I can use all over, you know, in my normal shade in the summer. And like now I can just use it pre-contour because I do love it. And I feel like it smooths my skin out so much and gives me that really yummy, creamy, almost like a, remember those craft caramels? That's what it kind of makes me feel like. So this, it's not that it's not a beautiful powder, but this is going to be for someone fair. Now, this is something I just happened to see in my drawer yesterday and I thought I'm going to try that. <laughs> and it is the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation in Medium. And I remember when I did a campaign with them this past summer, and I remember taking pictures at the pool and loving this. It's so pretty. So let me swatch it so you can see it definitely has a color, definitely is glowy. So I wouldn't use this all over, but yesterday and today I've done no blush no blush, just this on my cheeks. And I don't know where in the heck a little bit of pink tone comes out. The only thing I can think of is see like right there, there is just the slightest bit of like an iridescent pink, but I think it's so pretty as a blush and highlight combined. It's just a pretty product that you could probably use in so many different ways. You could probably use this on your lids. I could probably get a darker one and it would be a beautiful bronzer. You could get the lighter one, it would be a beautiful highlight. It's just a good product. I find that her products are good. I know their highlighters are really good. These. Fabulous are these candles. Oh my gosh, they are so cool. I love them. I put one of them, Pool Boy, oh my gosh, I put him over in my little Slim Errands art corner in my kitchen. And then I took Sweet, which is the fresh linen something air clean one. I took it upstairs and lit it. Not for me. I mean, it's very typical. I don't like fresh, like anytime says something says fresh linen, uh, crisp, I almost hate it. I'll put it that way. I'm gonna give that to Brooke because she liked it. But I did take Lobby upstairs and it's in like a nude, jar so cool love it fresh cut flowers but they're not like lilies or anything it's not anything zingy travel pamphlets an air conditioned ocean breeze it just smells good it just smells kind of i don't know how to describe it it smells like a hotel it does it how can they do that how can they mimic the smell of walking in a hotel i don't know it is so good I love it. I really love it. That makes me happy. And then Pool Boy, I haven't even lit it. It's just sitting over there and I can smell it when I walk by. It smells summertime and I love that. You guys, I buy some crazy stuff. 
and it's because I'm not scared to try things and you know this is what I do and you know I've been so inspired and I always have been by the whole Parisian look the uh, capsule wardrobe the chic airport look like all of those looks you know a black blazer all black all of those things so I was watching videos and I noticed it is very hard to find a Parisian person which I'm not as fond of the videos of someone telling you how to look Parisian. Those are a little, eh, to me, I think they're just kind of gimmicky. I actually like to find people like Karen and Lisa Napoli and just see how they're living. Like I want the actual real McCoy. I can't find anybody that's blonde hair and blue eyes. Have you noticed that? It just seems like everyone has brown hair. And so a lot of the things weren't working for me. So I ended up switching into a little bit of the Scandi style, which is different because it's much more casual. It's oversized, which I realize a lot of you don't like oversized and I get it. I used to not like it either. I think it's just part of my journey. It's a lot of blonde headed girls. So I was watching different Scandi styles and I ended up ordering these sneakers, which are hilarious. These are really, really popular over there for their style. I ordered them, I swear, I think it was three weeks ago and I just got them. I don't even know where they came from. The maker is, what is it? Anasuka and their tigers and I could send them back but you know they're a little intriguing I'm accepting the challenge to style these honestly I would put these on with the outfit I have on right now and go anywhere I'm just I think once you get to a certain age this is something I've always wanted to say I feel like when you get to a certain age you realize it's not that you don't care what other people think but you realize everyone's entitled to their own opinion. The way we form our opinions is so different. There's so many factors to it and it shouldn't determine how you feel. But I think a lot of people get to our age and they think, well, I just don't care what people think. And they kind of use that as a reason to say anything or do anything. And I'm very against that. I, I think no matter how old you get, you should still be considerate of other people's feelings. You should still have somewhat of a filter. It may not be the important thing to you if they like you or all that. I think good manners are ageless and I never want to hurt anyone's feelings. So that is a point that I always think of because sometimes I'll say, when you get to my age, you don't care. I care about your feelings. I care about what you like. But if you don't like this because you hate colored tennis shoes, then that's, you know, that's not that big of a deal. I don't know why I got off on that tangent. I'm going to try these and we'll see how they go. <laughs> okay, now I am going to show you a few more things I got from Everlane. I do not think I have one thing to return from Everlane. And I think I told you I spent like $800, which it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't crazy expensive. And it was all real good quality things. As a matter of fact, my mom met Brooke and I yesterday at McDonald's and we had lunch. I wore that wool sweater that I was telling you, this is kind of scratchy. Then it all made sense. Then I had a whole new like opinion of the sweater because for wool, 100% wool, it's snuggly wuggly. You know what I mean? So I had a different opinion of that. So everything I got from there is very, very, very good quality. So with all of that said, this is another sweater that I got that I forgot to show you. Size small seems to be what I wear there. This is the cloud turtleneck in small and it's in the color pretty. Oh, I love it. I feel like it brings out like the warmth in my skin. I love that color. Like. I might not be seeing what you're seeing, but I think that is so pretty. Let's just call it seashell, <laughs> a seashell pink. By the way, today I used the same foundation, the same glorious Dior matte primer. That stuff is good. But today I could not help myself. I put a little bit of the matte velvet three in on two, just to give me a little bit more color. Today I was going for a different vibe and you know that happens. That's a little bit different. I'll put all my makeup down below. Let me stand up here and then I'll have some video too. I always forget that my mic is hooked to this. 
This top comes in several colors and it is just a plain Jane cottony fitted button up, which I think is a very valuable piece. Like for instance, today, I wanted something that was a layer, but I didn't want anything really low cut, but yet I wanted to show a little bit of skin because I'm gonna be covered pretty much everywhere else. So it was perfect because I could unbutton it and, oh, Side note, love this Soma bra. This is how I know how much I love it. I gave the nude one to my mom to try. I need to just order another one. So I only had the black one. And I guess one night I had thrown it on the floor and had gone kind of up underneath some clothes in my closet. I've been searching for that thing. And for that, that's when I know I like something. When I don't just take off or pick up the first bra that I see. And then today I found it. So this is the Soma bra, which oh, it's attached. Gives you such good shape without, I don't have any pushed in cleavage. I'm not pushed up, but yet I feel really good. And then the jeans I have on are the Everlane Ultra High Rise. And I will, of course, give you all the information down below. And they're the long. And that baffles me a little bit because they're not really long, but maybe they're supposed to be cropped. I don't know why I have an issue. Like those Abercrombie jeans, I'm gonna probably have to end up ordering those in long because that's what I'm like feeling right now. And I should have just looked at how they're fitting the model, but I always feel like they're gonna be longer on me. But anyway, okay. So these are Everlane jeans, and I'm gonna show you the different shoes that I wear them with, just give you some different options. And then this lover is a rag and bone leather blazer, but it's not oversized, is it Chanel? It's not oversized. It is like butter. First of all, it's thin. It really is. It's thin leather. It is lined so soft. It is definitely going to get worn looking, which I can't wait, but I wanted a fitted black leather blazer. I'd almost, I mean, I still like my big one that's more of a boyfriend, but I think this is just a different vibe. It has like the little cut in a little bit and I just love it. This one is a size six. Okay, baby. I need to get here. Okay, and thank you all so much for your compliments on my tree. I love a real tree, I really do. But I'm not the one that has to deal with bringing it home, getting rid of it, and putting on the lights. So I told John it was up to him. So we chose this tree together. I really wanted one that was even more like Scandinavian, like with the gaps in it, but that was a little too radical for him. So we compromised on this tree and we love it. You guys, I turn this on as soon as I get up in the morning, anywhere from 4.30 to 5.30 usually. It's magical. I, and I'm a Scrooge. I don't normally like lots of stuff, but I love this tree. And my ornaments are from last year. They're mostly from Pottery Barn. For these pants, I'm either going to wear, these are those J.W. Anderson. If I had to say right off the bat, it's probably gonna be these. They're fabulous, like a glamorous Birkenstock. I love them. Or I could wear these. Or you guys, can you believe these framed sandals that I was telling you were like some of my favorite sandals of all times. They're probably not anymore, but these were on the website on clearance. I will add the link just in case, but these are, I feel like these are so everything in a sandal. Little bit of heel, little bit of strappy, still comfortable, still stylish. So I could wear these or these. These are those Steve Madden pointed with the seam Another model off-duty look. I could wear these. Where am I going? I'll probably go get some lunch and then we have an anthropology now. Can you believe it? We have an anthropology here and I haven't been in, so I'm gonna go there either today or tomorrow. And I was thinking I might do that. So that is what I'm doing and I'm seeing all of you. That is worth dressing up for. Okay, my jewelry, my wolf ring, I love him. Lincoln Park After Dark, just, I will always have this. I love it. My ideal diamond 
necklace. I have a lot of questions about this and it's real gold and lab created diamonds. And so it's not cheap or really inexpensive, but it is for what it is. You know what I mean? And then um, some little Jenny Bird little hoops. Oh gosh, I almost forgot about this. I want to do just a fun video with you guys. And so I want to do, I haven't done this in a long time, but I think I'm strong enough. Leave your assumptions about me down below. I'm also going to ask this on Instagram and on my just community page on YouTube. And I will choose, you know, like, I don't know, as many as we can do and we'll have fun just talking. So thank you guys. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.